Defamations is composed of two sequences with a lyric section in between which bridges the two and the second section is called Pity Sad. It is in a way a retelling of the Odyssey or at least it takes themes and characters from the Odyssey and uses them to its own ends and purposes. In the Odyssey, the character of Penelope is left behind by Odysseus and in order to stave off, to ward off the suitors who have surrounded her and who are endangering her, she devises a cunning plan to weave a shroud during the day and to unpick it at night. Whenever I read the Odyssey, it struck me that this was completely implausible, that a woman on her own, with only a child to defend her, could keep so many men who were intent on one thing only at bay. And so this is a retelling of Penelope and the suitors. In the green marble of her bathroom, she lets the spasms of nausea overcome her, as one of her women holds back her hair, and another opens the taps, filling the deep bath, adding herbs, she slides her bruised body into the warmth, and the marble kills the smell of despair. Tomorrow she will appear in fresh clothes and make coffee and toast, and the day will proceed, the sun piercing the blinds at noon, and towards evening her women will begin their slow songs, and she will mix a drink and sip from it, and change her clothes again. By six or so, the suitors are arriving, driving slowly through the curfewed streets, and she has steeled herself, although, she reasons, better not to be steeled, better to fool oneself that this is pleasure or mercy or the need to survive. How she keeps them talking like Scheherazade, handing round the drinks, how nothing betrays her, no flicker of fear or hatred, the polished grace of the wife of a statesman. Even her kisses feel meant, her fingers caressing touch, as the chosen one stands with loosened tie, or her smile as they all barge into her room, the way she makes each one feel welcome as she stumbles, knocking over her loom.